This tutorial is part two of three on creating the preliminary pages for theses and dissertations at Mississippi State University. Covered in this tutorial are the abstract, dedication, and acknowledgement pages. For questions on setting up the document, refer to part one. After the committee approval page, the line spacing should still be set to single. Type name, colon, and your full name. Press enter twice to leave one blank line and type date of degree, colon, and the date. Repeat these steps for institution, major field, and major professor. For the title, type title, colon, and the title in all caps. The formatting of this line differs from the others, but this can be set after the other lines are entered. After the title, type pages in study and the total pages. And candidate for the degree of, followed by the degree. Press enter three or four times to leave two or three blank lines of space before entering your abstract. To format the title of study line, highlight it and using the ruler, move the hanging indent past the phrase title of study. To line up the first line with the hanging indent, Click before the first letter of the title and press Tab on your keyboard. Click below the blank lines you left after the degree line. Change your line spacing to double and using the ruler, set the first line indent to the half inch mark. Type your abstract at this point. The word limit for theses abstracts is 150 words and 350 words for dissertations. If your abstract includes keywords, include two blank lines after the last line of your abstract and move the first line indent tab back to the margin. Insert a section break to move to the next page. Make sure your line spacing is double and enter down to the 2 inch mark. Center your cursor and in all caps type DEDICATION. Change the line spacing to triple and press enter to leave two blank lines between DEDICATION and the first line of your DEDICATION. Left align your text and set the first line indent to the half inch mark. Also, change your line spacing back to double. The dedication page is the first page to have a page number. To insert the page number, scroll to the bottom of the page and double click in the bottom margin. This will open up the header and footer design tools. In the position group, change the footer from bottom measurement to one inch to ensure the page number will fall within the one inch margin. This footer is linked to the other footers in previous sections. Click on the Link to Previous button to break this link. Click back to the Home tab and make sure your font and point size match the rest of the document. Center your text and click back to the Header and Footer Design Tools. Click on Page Number and choose Current Position and Plain Number. This shows that the page is actually page 6 in the document. To reformat this number, click on Page Number and Format Page Numbers. Here the numbers can be changed to small Roman numerals and set to start at 2.
Click the red X at the right of the header and footer design tools, or double-click the page to exit the footer. Since the page numbers are the same for the following sections, page breaks can be used. Click on the Insert tab, then Page Break to move to the next page. The format for the Acknowledgement page follows the Dedication page. Enter down to the 2-inch mark, center the text, and in all caps type Acknowledgements. Change the line spacing to triple to leave two blank lines. Set the first line indent to the half-inch mark. Change the line spacing back to double and enter your acknowledgments. 